Hey guys. guys, we're currently camped up near Norseman. Let's take you on our journey of how we got here. So in this episode, we will be continuing on from Alliston, where we've completed the coastal trail, um, which we've got some images from that on our last episode at the end. We've stopped in at Murphy's Haystacks. We had a look, took some pictures. What did you think of them, Emily? I loved them. The colour of the rocks, the scenery, um, they're quite random little objects in the middle of nowhere, so um, they're pretty pretty cool. Definitely something to stop by and uh, see for yourself. Um, but no, I loved it. It was yeah. awesome. There was quite a few more there than what I really thought there was going to yeah. be. I was expecting, I thought there was only going to be five or so, but there was quite a few. Now, the rocks are all situated on a hill. So um, you get a lovely surrounding of the area um, and the sun, the, everything reflects the colour of the um, rocks themselves. So it's definitely something um, quite different and quirky and you cannot compare it to anything else. Yeah, and then once we finished there, we got back on the road. We had a quick stop in at Venus Bay and then kept going to Streaky Bay. So at Streaky Bay, we decided to book in at the caravan park for Easter and we stayed there for four nights. Yes, it was quite a relaxing few days, a lot of water activity, um, just a beautiful coastal town. Um, we did have a meal at the local pub and that was beautiful. Um, lovely, lovely spot. Um, caught a little bit of fish for Good Friday. Um, yeah. It's a great little spot. So our campsite was just right on the beach. So we got the paddle board out. We've done some fishing off the beach as well as the jetty. When it was high tide, the water was sort of right up to our waist tide. It was a bit higher. Um, so we got the snorkels out as well. We also had some local marine life. We witnessed a few dolphins later on in the afternoon um saw a few jellyfish at the jetty and a fair few little fish swimming around um and we had a look at the war memorial and the gallipoli pine that was just behind it here are a couple shots of when we seen the dolphin Okay guys, we're just having dinner. It's our last night at Streaky Bay. Emily's got the barbecue sauce, we've got peas and the corn going, we've got the herb and spinach Coconut oil. wraps going, and we got some cheese, barbecue sauce, mountain. And we got lamb choppies. We've got some choppies on, we've got a nice view in the background. Kids on the playground. It's just a bit dull. We got the king of the castle up the top here looking at me. I have to zoom in on him because he can't even, can't it won't let me zoom in. So it's just I'll up. take you closer. You can check him out with us. There you go. Here's the king of the castle up there. The Pop dog. So we have just left Streaky Bay and we are on the way to Sajuna. Oh, <laughs> so excited. It's literally like quarter past eight o'clock. Quarter past eight. And um We're on the road. Okay. Ready to go. Yeah, even Doug's happy. <laughs> the duck's swinging. He's swinging for it. But yeah, the Caribbean Park was 
On the beach. Yeah, on the beach, which was good. Oh, just, yeah. Um, I had a warm shower this morning and a hot shower, so yeah, that was um, yeah, that's the normal, isn't it? But um, yeah, we're pretty much one of the first ones to leave, so uh, we're on the road, nice and early. Yeah. And, yeah. Been all this piece of traffic. Stay with me, people. <laughs> How did you find the park, Thomas? Ah, oh, it's all right. It was, but we're on the beach. There's no bush, no fences, fences or anything between no us and the beach. So we could just, you know, walk straight there and see it. When the tide was up, it was really nice. When the yeah. tide was down, you had to walk out about 300 metres to actually get your feet underwater. But... Did no one even swim in the water? Like, it must be... There any sharks, sharks or something because there's a lot of little dolphins that we met, which is pretty cute. Yes, um, but yeah, it, it's a, not, not a bad place. The pub was okay, yeah. Um, uh, don't think I'm gonna worry about going to caravan park, probably not. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, back to free camping, yeah. And we're staying on the Nanala board tonight. I'm so excited, yay. Hey guys, we're at Paluby Beach. Look how cute those little huts are. Another recommendation from a family friend. Um, not the best day for beach, but like it's pretty cool. A few people um, obviously camping there. Um, yeah, it'd be awesome if the sun was out, but we're just having a quick little stop to say we've been here. Um, but yeah. We're just pulling into Sejuna to get some more food and to fill Wilbur up. And then we'll get back on the road. Yeah. All right, guys, we are at the Big Wombat. Big man right next to us. Check him out, he's not the biggest thing I've ever seen, but he's bigger than I am, so. Yeah, a bit different. He's actually made out of rock, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Wilbur's just saying hello as well, so. Yeah. yeah, we actually got his name influenced by little, uh, the wombat, the wombat, didn't wombat. he? Yeah. Wilbur the it's wombat. the size of a wombat. That used to keep running out in the road in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, good fun. Hey guys, we've just pulled up in Penang. We are at the windmills. And it's Australia's biggest windmill right behind us, apparently. But I think it means what? I don't know, it's probably talking about the widest one or the tallest, but I've seen taller, so it must be Not the widest sure. one. Probably the widest, but yeah, just having a little stop off the main road, and yeah, we'll see what else there is. So we got going, um, driving down the road, and we'll get towards the Nullarbor, so... Woo! Yeah, we're excited for that. Get pumped. Hello everyone, and um, we've just passed our first sign of the Nullarbor. Very excited. It's a bit of a gloomy, uh, grey kind of day. Um, it's a grey day. Grey day. It's not a green day, it's a grey day. Nah, nah. So, uh, it's still alright, you know. There's a few people on the road, which is good. Uh, but yeah, no, it's okay. I'm really jumping out of your seat. Um, but Wilbur's happy, I'm happy, you're happy, we're all happy. You're happy, right? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, like, the next sign's about, would it be a few, uh, few kilometers? I don't know. The next sign's probably the straight, so yeah, it might be so a while, I don't know. You're probably a busy sign. So I, say, I don't know if it's today's trip or tomorrow's trip, but we'll say it at some point. It suits you. Know. And people are grateful. It's so good. Um, yeah, so we did head down just before a road for the head of the Australian bike. Yeah. And we went down about a few hundred metres and it said uh, that you have to pay. And true, so it's like nine dollars for an adult and seven dollars for a child. So where we're staying tonight is on the Australian bar. I don't want to have to pay to see something for literally like. Never going to see anyway. Yeah. 
Exactly. So, uh, yeah, if you are on the roads, do not be cool like we were. A 12k drive in, in and then probably another 12k drive back. So yes. We didn't really want to do the 12 or extra 24k driving anyway. Yeah. Because it's just extra fuel. And you're already spending money. Plus, you know, the fuel piece. price plus the price of going in. It's, yeah. We'll just free camp on the edge of the cliffs where we're going to be going out. Yeah, Derek will have fun. Yeah, we're happy. Guys, um, we are in West Australia. <laughs> Just gone through the quarantine um, border checkpoint, and that was a lot quicker than I had thought. It was about a minute. Literally a minute. Just checking our fridge and just checking for weeds and prickles and all that stuff. So, yay! Excited. So it's again a bit of a gloomy day so far. Um, but yeah, should be good. Got some cool footage of uh, Wilbur on the road, on the Malibor, and some pretty cool yeah, scenery around. And there's literally a beach, like a few hundred meters from where we're staying. That's cool. So, yeah. How are you feeling, Das? Right. Kicked him yet? I've been here before, you know. Oh, sure, sure. I have it. So that's why I'm like... Um, i at this bar anyway. <laughs> I just got like two two states left or so. I think no three. So, yeah. Cool. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, it's still a bit overpassed. Very subby way. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you at the next place. Hey guys, we are on the Nullarbor somewhere. We've just stopped to have dinner. We Lunch. Had chicken, noodles. Something quick. Cheese, barbecue sauce. And a course. side of bloody flies. They're not that, they're not that bad. It is fly mania in Western Australia, Darcy. They're not that bad. They're bad. <laughs> they're not that bad. Anyways, we better get back to the road. Yeah. Hey guys, we're pulled over on the side of the road it's because the dirt, dirt was red. 
And Emily wanted to see it. Oh my gosh, it's so red. I'm not crazy, but this is amazing. <laughs> so we're about an hour out of, just under an hour out of Norseman. We're going to go get some fuel. And then we're going to trek towards... Norseman. Esperance. Someone doesn't listen. <laughs> yes, we're going to go towards Esperance and find our campsite somewhere. Out there, between Norseman and Esperance. Look at that Check it out, Dad. Hey guys, check it out. Look how red it is. It's nearly as red as my hair is. Oh my god. Ringa. I actually can't believe that. Alright, let's go before that truck we passed two hours ago catches up. that brings us to the end of this episode if you guys enjoyed our video please hit that subscribe button and if you want to follow along with our journey make sure you hit the button here it should take you to our playlist see you next time guys thanks for watching